Hey y'all, how you doing? Alright, today I'm going to build a wing coaster layout and uh, for future projects. And I've been working on my, uh, let's build a stunt coaster on my Twitch recently because I know watching build without speed build can be kind of boring. So, that's what I've been doing on my Twitch. And I'll be streaming probably pretty soon. I would like you all to come watch maybe. Alright, now I don't want this to be a tall coaster, not too big, but uh, it's going to be decent height, of course, over 100 feet at least. Now I'm going to go into a wing over drop right here, which are very common on BMN wing coasters, and a lot of them feature it. I.e. Gatekeeper at Cedar Point is well known for its and Now these things can be pretty very intense on these things. So you gotta watch, really watch your g-forces on these drops, these type of drops, because they can get very intense. All right, I think that will cover this drop, and we'll go ahead and restart it. Now, I'm going to come up into like. A different type of uh, element. It's almost going to be like a Norwegian loop, but not quite. Almost like the pretzel loop on, or the pretzel loop that's on a lot of flying coasters, but not quite. You see, mm. come back up now. I don't. It needs to be. About this height, about like that. Now, let's see if the G forces are go okay on this. Yeah, that'd be fine. It makes it up there easy too. Now I'm gonna twist to the right. and we twist to the left. And we twist again. <clears throat> and we twist again. And now we dive down again. And I'll be smoothing this out, so, right now it's not that smooth, but I'll be smoothing it out. Get it right about here. Yeah, that, that should be good. I'm trying to watch out for these supports. I don't want to make half these supports disappear. I might have to custom support a lot of them anyways. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fly into an airtime hill. Maybe not an airtime hill, it's going more like a, a banked airtime hill kind of. It'll come like that. And then straighten out there. 
let's see if that and make sure that doesn't pull a lot of laterals. No, it pulled that pull much air time at all. I want I want some air time on this. And it pulled down like this and this. That should get some good uh, I'm, I'm thinking floater air time. You cannot be too sure. It might be way below it might be ejected. Which would be awesome on a wing coaster. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I pulled some floater air time. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and let's get I'm gonna go ahead and get the smooth out a little bit on here. Now I'm gonna come down at a sharp, and I'm gonna come down at a 45 degree angle. I keep that, keep that airtime moment. You know what? I'm gonna unbank this. And still keep it at 45 degree angle. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a not, I'm gonna do a turn and here 45 angle and then I'm gonna come like this all right that'd be a great airtime moment all right smooth out this hill a little bit Now, I'm going to have the coaster go into a, an emblem loop, which kind of did that over there, since that's an emblem and a dive loop in one. this come down at a 67 degree angle at, at least and then it's going to hit 33 degree angle there one had to smooth out come this way and then second. I gotta be careful for the uh wings though because I don't need them hitting all right that should cover that and I'm gonna smooth this out make sure that make sure the emblem's smooth if I pronounce that right I don't know if I did emblem loop right. it looks kind of awkward for emblem loop though
might be a pretty close call with caught in your head, but it's cool. I think it'd be alright. Ooh, that wasn't good. Alright, I'm gonna redo this whole section. Yeah, it's not looking good. Come up like this. And uh, I'm hoping the 56 degree angle ain't too sharp. And I'm, I think I'm gonna turn it this way. Coming up. That way it can I can turn it easier than this. I just hope that 56 degree angle doesn't pull too many G's. No, it's fine. I'm always trying to watch those G forces. Gotta watch those G forces. Alright, turn that way. Off angle snap a bit. Get like this. Look at the destruction of these when these coasters come out. It's so destructive. I love it. Alright. Let's see. That should be good. Now, what kind of elements should we do after this? I want to do another inversion, but I don't know which kind of inversion. I'm thinking a zero G wall. Just because I think a zero G wall would fit. No, let's go and let's do a zero G wall. Go to the walls, and I'm gonna use I'm not gonna uh, I'm gonna use a pre-made one just because it's easier this way. Let's go right about here because I need it to be somewhat. High to get so it doesn't pull a lot of G's on that going up or down. All right. Now, and I, I can always extend this part if I have to. Yeah, it's fine, at least for this game. This is real life, it would be a lot different, but it's not. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go up to a 33 degree angle. <clears throat> and I'm going to come up to a, a sharp 67. Because we're going to do another loop here. I gotta extend this just a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to come up.
this way. No, I think that's the wrong way. We wanna we wanna go this way. There we go. Because we're gonna come down this way. Alright. Pulling a lot of laterals on that, but I'm gonna I'll get it. I'm gonna try to get those laterals fixed. Right. I'm gonna come up like this, and we'll flatten. We'll get it more out like this. There we go. Now this should pull some air time and some laterals. There we go. That worked that looked good. Now we're going to go into I wanna go into kind of like a, a bell rules are very awkward to make on this game. So but I'm going to try I'm kind of like the bell wolf of that. Go into an air time hill, and then I'm gonna do a short turn this way. Up that air time hill a little bit longer. I'm gonna do a short turn this way. Come and go into a 90 degrees. And then we'll do a 180. Then we're going to a 180. I forgot what angle that was at. I think it was a 33 degree angle. Anyways, now we'll go like this. Alright, I want this to turn more.
Right, there we go. Good to achieve all. Uh, at least, not to achieve all, but it's, it's about the best heart and wool I'm going to get for now. But I'm going to smooth it out. Let's see if I can make this better. Yeah, it's pulling a lot of laterals right here. Probably because it ain't all the way to the ground, maybe? No? Alright, well, let's try a little bit like a 22 degree angle. Like this. Well, you know what? Let's straighten this out a little bit. And then we'll go like that. And now I'll do my 45 degree angle descent and straighten it out. There we go. Now, now that that's settled and we got this way direction we want. Forty five degree angle. Gonna go into an airtime hill and we're gonna turn. Let's go ahead and click the auto tunnel. 67 degree angle, let's go on the ground. I want the entrance and exit to be opposite. That's what I want. I want them to be like this. That's better. Alright, now, station, break one. Don't need a really long break one, just about like this. Uh, I'll set the speed 20 miles an hour because I want it to stay somewhat quick. 
now we're going to the uh to the truck the drive wheels and we'll set the drive wheels about like this make sure that lines up pretty well all right and we're going to the brake run and it was a little bit off so we'll shrink this down Put that like this, do this. Yeah, that will work. And we'll uh, set that up at an angle. Alright, now. This was turning like this. Straighten that out. back and I'm just gonna hit, hit the auto complete like that and then I'll sh sh smooth this out a little bit there we go well, not too much because I wanted to get some air time to pop up into that well maybe I'll uh me up to this no 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 track I want my track supports Now it doesn't look as bad, I don't think. Alright, and now I'll auto smooth it, and then that that looks better, I think. And then I'll smooth this out a little bit. Alright. Let's move this curve up. Now, this is the part that worries me the most because it looks kind of awkward and it looks a little janky. And it doesn't look right, I don't think, too much. I feel like the turn should be better. Maybe I can start from this end. Alright, I don't get that, but I do need an auto snap on it. Alright, 45 degree angle is what I was doing. Now, yeah, I think I can start from this end. Now I need my track supports. I'm trying to turn off auto turn it. There we go. Alright. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go 45 degree angle like that. And then I'm gonna put the bar back like this. I'm gonna get rid of this. Delete. Alright. Now. Scoot this back, and it, it was coming down like this. Hmm. And that was right, one the whole year. And then that was forty five degree angle that. And then it did. I'm gonna get rid of this.
one of those building and supports on this thing. I would probably have to put some custom supports in. Which when I build this thing, I'm probably going to have to just in this spot to make it look more realistic. Alright. Go ahead and test it and see how the results are and check G forces. And we'll go ahead and while I watch the stats also. And I'll fix any problem areas that show up while. I'm going to have to slow that break down a little bit. Great stats. The laterals are a little high though. And I know where it's coming from. It's coming from here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that down to 16 miles an hour. Now this is the spot I kind of want to fix. Because I like... I really like the wool... I wish I had some air time on here when you came up into it. That's what I was hoping for, that it would. The problem is if I do that, I don't know if the ladder will be too high. Well, it's in that spot. It's definitely a lot more exciting though. This do this bell wool seems to be doing pretty good, or inline twist, or whatever you want to call it, Heartland wool, because it kind of banks to the left while I'm doing it, and it looks really good. Alright, let's write it one more time, and we'll get the final stats in, hopefully, and I'll see if I like it, and if then I'll call this episode over of Let's Build the Swing Coaster. Because I'm almost done with my stunt coaster, because I'm going to be streaming a lot, some more of it on my Twitch tomorrow night, which link will be down in the description for my Twitch if you want to come check it out tomorrow night. Yeah, it's sort of a lot more down there. That's what we wanted. Stats aren't as high. The excitement went down. Because I lowered the laterals down. But I really like the way this coaster came out. Seven diversions, has some airtime. It does some interaction. It's a pretty small blueprint. Footprint. Alright. And I think... I had a name for it, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll come up with the name later. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Build series of Wing Coaster. And I'll come up with a better name for it soon. Or you can help me in the description. I'm thinking Barracuda, so let me know what you think of the name.